I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how I've been using my SimCam AI smart home surveillance camera. So as I've shown in other videos, the SimCam AI is really interesting because it's a home surveillance camera that you can connect up and it actually, instead of streaming video to the cloud, uh, stores the video locally. And it uses a specialized Intel computer vision chip to actually analyze the data locally too. So it has a lot of the smart features you would get with a Nest camera or a Wise camera, like uh, person detection and even object detection, um, but it can actually do all of that on the camera itself without having to send your video feed off to an outside company. And I think that's really interesting from a security perspective. I would still want someone to audit it and make sure that nothing is being sent out, but um, as long as it is actually storing all that data just on the card, uh, it's really neat because you could put this somewhere inside your house where maybe you wouldn't ordinarily be okay with having a camera. Um, again, you know, just knowing there are always security implications with doing that, um, but you can do that and, uh, and be able to access the video and get those smart analytics using the Intel chip without having to stream that data off to a third party company on somebody's cloud. So the way I'm actually using it, I've set it up here in my garage and um, you know, it's a nice little camera, it blends in pretty easily. Um, and it does have a gimbal I've shown in another video, so you can actually remotely pan and tilt it around and look around. Um, and I have it set up here and I actually use it to monitor the garage, but also to get alerts when my car comes and goes. So it'll detect objects and it'll detect people getting in and out of the car. And eventually I'm gonna use the facial recognition features that come with the camera to actually train it for specific people. So when it sees uh, a particular member of the household get out of the car, it might set um, things in the house for that person. So set the temperature to their preference, um, set the, uh, the lights to their preference and that kind of thing, depending on who it specifically sees. And it can also keep a record of you know who's been coming and going. Um, and I like to use it in the garage like this because again, it can detect the car. I'm gonna set up that uh, facial recognition. And also, um, you know, it's get, I got a nice view of the, uh, the door to the garage, um, but I can also, if I wanted to uh, use that gimbal and look around the garage or look at objects I've stored out here, or even turn it around and take a look at the door into the house, I can do that remotely if there's something I'm uh, you know, curious or concerned about. Um, and it's great also for checking in to see if you've you know, remembered to close the garage door. Um, I've looked at it and realized, whoops, I forgot to actually close the door when I've been out. Um, so that's sort of a neat feature with it there. And again, you know, I, I would wanna audit it before I bring it fully into my house, but I feel more comfortable using it inside uh, inside the house than I would with a Nest camera or another one where it's streaming the video off to the cloud um, just because you know it is storing that locally. Otherwise, I mostly use those cameras for monitoring on the outside of the house. Um, so that's how I'm currently using my SimCam AI camera. Um, I'm gonna keep looking at this in more detail. They sent me this unit to take a look at, so I've been looking at some of these smart uh, AI features and some of the other things you can do with it. Uh, if you have one, let me know how you use it. Uh, how do you find it differs from other cameras and that kind of thing in the comments below. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.